today I'm here with my daughter's baby born and I'm going to show you how to make this um, hooded towel for your dolls and um, this fits her perfectly and it's just the right size for dolls so let's get started I'll show you the things you will need. The things you will need are a terry cloth fabric and in my case I'm using this old towel. You're going to need a sewing machine with thread. You're going to need some sewing pins some bias tape and this is the extra wide double fold bias tape and three yards should be enough. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to need a washable marker or chalk. You're going to need a measuring tape, some fabric glue, and some felt. And the felt, the colors will depend on what kind of um, animal you want to make for your towel. I've seen some frogs and bunnies. I'm going to be making a duck since I am using a yellow towel and if you're going to make a duck too, I will make um, these template or pattern pieces available on the description box below. Okay, for your main towel piece, you're going to cut an 18 inch square, so it's going to be 18 by 18. Now for the hoodie part of the towel, I'm going to take the leftover towel and I'm going to take this corner here and I'm going to measure nine inches and then I'm going to measure nine inches from this edge to there then I'm going to go ahead and connect those two measurements and then I'm going to go ahead and cut that triangle out Okay, so now I'm getting ready to sew my bias tape to um, the hoodie part of the towel. And um, the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to take the shorter side of the bias tape. I'm going to open it up, line up the raw edges. I'm going to pin. Okay, once I have this pin, I'm going to take it to my sewing machine. And I'm going to sew right on this line all the way across. Okay, so once you've sewn on that crease, you're going to uh, go ahead and fold it over. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and pin this. Okay, so once I have this pin, I'm going to go ahead and sew across right on the edge. Okay, so here it is. Um, now that we have that done, we can work on the face of the duck. And I've already went ahead and cut um, my pieces out of my felt here. And here's the beak, the eyes, and, and then the feathers for the top of the head. I actually cut it out of the towel material and I did, I cut two. I have to wash it, washable marker. I cut two and I um, used fabric glue to... Um, glued it together and then I waited for them to dry so I'm going to go ahead and wash this to get all these markers out and then I will come back and show you how to put everything together. Okay so I'm going to start with the beak and what I'm going to do I'm just going to uh, fold it see if I can see where the center of the towel is and I'm just going to so I know it's about right there I'm going to fold this and the center is right there so I'm going to go ahead and place it about right there, right to, to the edge of um, the bias tape there. And then the eyes, I'm going to place about right there on each side. And you can either uh, glue it with fabric glue or sew it. I'm going to go ahead and sew it onto my towel. I did end up gluing the little white specks on the eyes there. I'm going to go ahead and pin it and then take it to my sewing machine and go ahead and sew my pieces. Okay, now that I've sewn the face onto my um, hoodie part, I'm going to go ahead and line the edges here up and then I'm going to take my bias tape and I'm going to do the same thing I did to this part, which I'm going to put it right to the end. I am going to fold this so I can get a clean edge and then I'm going to go ahead and pin it all around. Okay, so I've pinned one side. Now I've reached the corner here, and when you get to the corner, the way you're going to pin it, you're going to lift the bias tape up, and you're going to put it just like that, and you're going to pin it. 
So this has to be lifted up. So when you sew it, you're going to sew on the crease here. You're going to stop right there. You're going to flip this over and then turn it on your sewing machine and continue on the around the corner there. Okay, so I have pinned it all around and now I'm here to the other edge and I am going to overlap it just a little. So I'm going to cut right here so it's overlapping. And now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and sew right on the crease here. All right, so I've already sewn this part over here, as you can see, and now I'm folding it over on the back. Now for the corner here again, I'm going to fold it in, but you're going to make a little crease here so it can match the crease on the front here. I'm going to pin it and then keep folding it over all the way around. Okay, so I've already sewn the bias tape on and um, now I'm ready to put the little, um, I guess, feather or little crown here of hair that I'm going to put right here. And I am actually going to hand sew this on because I don't want to sew it, the um, hood part shut. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a um, hand stitch it here. Okay, so I've sewn this on and I just did a straight um, whip stitch straight across and that's ready. That You're all done. It's ready for the doll. Thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm.